Hi, this is Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com and today I'm showing off a couple of different things. Uh, I've got the Adafruit RGB backlit LCD keypad shield with the buttons, but I'm not working with the buttons right today. What I want to show you is something a little bit different. This is an I2C device, so it only uses two pins on the Arduino, and those pins, A4, A5, are shareable with other I2C devices. You'll see that the screen is reading battery voltage, 4.09 volts. Fluctuates a little bit. That battery, you'll notice there's no wires connected to this. That battery is sitting right in there on the Adafruit PowerBoost 500 shield. And the PowerBoost 500 shield is a lithium polymer charging shield. It, this shield also is an uninterruptible power supply. You'll see a mini USB for charging. And when you are charging with, say, your Kindle cable or your cell phone cable, the unit acts as an uninterruptible power supply so if the power was to go out it would automatically keep going based on the battery power that's in that 2000 milliamp hour battery that's sitting in there or you can unplug your cable once the charge light lights up there is a charging light there is a charged light there is a power light and then there is a low battery light so once it's charged, you then can unplug all your cords and you now have a completely untethered working UNO with whatever else you have going on with this unit. Battery life will be determined by how many sensors and actuators and whatnot you're powering off the battery, but could be anywhere between 6 and 10 hours. But what we have done is we've jumpered one of the pads in the back of that power boost shield that allows us to read the battery voltage on an analog input and after using our trusty little meter here which we are very very happy with it's a good quality meter also from Adafruit we put the actual voltage of the A ref pin into the code which was 4.77 volts and that gave us better accuracy on the displayed voltage of what the actual voltage of the battery is. Other nice thing about this shield is you now have an on and off switch. So you can actually power off your project when you're not using it. Um, until now you would have to unplug the power, whether it was USB cable or whether it was an external battery pack. So you now have a power switch. The shield, the power boost shield, does not come with the headers installed and it does not come with that power switch installed. But it takes less than five minutes to install the extended headers and that power switch. Everything else was pre-installed. The battery was optional. Um, they have 1200 milliamp hour batteries and the 2000 milliamp hour batteries. And we used the 2000 milliamp hour battery for extended life. So there's our project. I will be uh, posting the code that makes the LCD and the, um, the voltage monitoring work at arduinotronics.blogspot.com. And I hope you've uh, enjoyed this little project. It makes a lot of other projects much more useful and uh, gives you a good um, handle on you know what, what your battery voltage is and how much life you might have left in your project before you need to recharge. When you do recharge, you just plug your mini USB cable in. You don't have to stop your project. You just plug it in, your battery charges, and then when it comes on that says the charge light says it's already charged, then you can just unplug the cable and keep going. Thank you for watching. Steve Spence with ArduinoTronics.blogspot.com.